Hello everybody, this is Jay Sims Plays and welcome to another video. So we got the new update, the baby update, and uh, with it came a f obviously a few quests. So the first quest was Nanny Knows Best, so you had to go through a bunch of tasks of course, and including like lifting, well first of all you had to add a baby to your town, which I ended up getting Pamela and Alice, you know, even though they're basically about to turn elder, got them to get a new baby which was baby Julia which of course was featured in uh, my let's play earlier in the week and uh, you had to get you know a sim to do a bunch of things with the baby and stuff like that so but now I just want to show you when you get a new baby to your town it's it's changed up the baby really because it's made the features more realis realistic so we're just going to add uh, this baby to our town Jaden now of course you can do male or female of course so just check it's male and then of course you can do all the different uh, colors but uh, yeah as you can see it sort of made the baby look a bit more realistic <laughs> so we're gonna make the baby that color and then of course you can just do the same as, as usual chick you know pick which orb you want to have so we'll just do no life, life orb and then you can do the hair and I think this is increased because I'm sure you couldn't have all these different choices for babies hairs before maybe just different colors and that's about it well you know you couldn't even have that I don't think so we're gonna have a sort of a blonde hair straightish hair and then you can do outfits originally you could as you can see because you have all these new ones well they're not really new ones they're sort of just um worked on the old ones but uh they just look a lot brighter and a lot more realistic and stuff and they, they had quite a few other colors yeah quite a lot of colors actually And then of course just the diapers by themselves. Now after that you finish the uh, Nanny Knows Best quest, we actually got a few other and a few other romper suits or I don't know outfits as well. So we've got this one, and they're the same for both sexes. So we've got all these. So we'll put him in that. So that's how your baby looks when you first get it. Now I have got this fancy crib and actually thinking about it now it's kind of a girly crib but uh, when you want to you can go to the baby tab now and uh, well firstly you can buy the cribs so let's just show you actually let's go to the inventory because I'm sure I've got a bunch of them in there yeah so as you can see they've got uh, this different color like back blankets on the back of them instead of on, on, at the bottom and then the string of letters that go across now also when you you're doing that new update you can do a bunch of new interaction with your baby so you can now um have happy birthday pick up the infant change the diaper cuddle entertain and give food which is the same like you had before so let's just pick up the infant And uh, let's just look over here. Then when you're holding the baby, when you press on the baby, you have the choice to let the infant crawl, change the diaper, practice walking or give food. So we can let the infant crawl for example.
to get the baby's way. And sometimes they don't seem to work, but yeah, just press on the where you want the baby to go and crawl to. Let's see, let's get it crawling over here. So he slowly but surely crawls. So that's quite a cute interaction. And then press on the adult sim again and we can pick up the infant again. And uh so say practice walking. So of course this is very similar to the uh, PC Sims version where of course your adult will walk with your sim and you know it's something you actually have to make your uh, sim and baby do otherwise they never end up learning how to walk but here I don't think it's something you actually have to achieve you just it's cute and you know it looks nice and all So other things of course you can go and buy yourself, you can go and buy your kid a high chair now. So let's just look at this one. And uh, there you can uh, put your infant in the high chair and then you can yeah give food or press on the infant and let's see what happens you can play with food make a big mess dump food or dump food so let's just see dump food And they just throw food on the floor. Or oh, let's see. Make a big mess. Sort of similar ones. Or oh, and then let's see, play with food. It's again the same sort of playing about and stuff so that's it for baby interactions and then let's go over to our other side because after we finish that now it uh, had access to the uh, xylophone hobby for the baby it's for the next you know a lot of prizes so we've got our other baby Julia and she's now he's doing the musical expression hobby so she won her award. Let's see, she's over here. And it's just the xylophone which you have to buy in the Promotions R Us store. So she did the row the boat one, and so 150 simoleons. So here's the uh, hobby chart. So it's not that many, so we'll just carry it on. And as you can see, when she's uh, playing the xylophone, it's just a case of banging away. Now, let's see. Because when I checked last time, I could only um, get uh, one xylophone. It's in the hobbies. Yeah, and it still says one 
per town. So, and it says more than one xylophone is going at once is going to be too much noise to bear. So we have to complete the hobby to be able to get more than one anyway. So no, it's going to take a while, unfortunately. And uh, as it's, you can't take babies to other towns. Well, I don't think you can anyway. So um, no, I'm stuck having to try and do this. So yeah, that's basically uh, the video at the moment. Hope you've liked it. If you have, please like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you next week.